Hello and welcome to Code with David YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be seeing a project called Student ID Card Generator and it is done with PHP and SQL database. Now firstly, I will show you the demo of this video. So we we'll go down to our browser. Now we have localhost slash student ID project. So we'll click enter. Then it takes us to our login page. Now I'm going to sign up to a new account. So we'll click on sign up here. Username, I'm going to have code with David. Then we have email. I'm just going to copy this and paste it here at gmail.com. And password, I'm going to have my password here. Then after filling these fields, then click on register. So it takes us to our dashboard. So you see at the top here, welcome code with David. Now at the other part of this dashboard, <coughs> we have logout. All right. Now right here, we have some of the uh, students that uh, they've already issued their ID card. So we have the edits, we can edit their names, you can edit the reg number, you can delete their record out of the, the dashboard. Also, we can come down to the top here and add new card for the new students. Okay, so just click here. So it brings out this field for we to fill. So come here, I have Patrick, David. The level is in 400 level. The date of birth. Just come down here and pick a date. So it expiring. It's gonna expire. Just pick any date. Then email. So just put here Patrick David at Gmail. Come. And faculty. We have computer science. Our right, average number. We have one four four seven. The full number just have a number written there. Then choose a file. Now this file now you're gonna choose the uh, the passport of the student. Now choose a file here. So come down here. Then I will choose this. Okay. So click. All right. Now add card. All right. So we click on the add card button. Okay, so you see what we have here. Success, your card has been inserted successfully. All right, so you can come here and uh, take off that um, alert. All right, so we have our record here. So we have Patrick Day, we have his red number. So if you want to edit, you can just come here and edit. So you can only edit the name and the red number. So you can just put a uh, change. You want to change what you want to do. Let me want to change the name. Okay, let me want to put David Doe. Okay, you can click on save changes and immediately it's updated right here. Okay, but I just showed you that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it off. Okay, so cancel this. So if you want to delete, you can click on the delete button. Okay, so let's delete this third one. So just delete. Are you sure you want to delete this node? Yep. So once you delete that, it takes it out of this dashboard. Okay, so we can cancel this. Now back to the main purpose of this particular project is about the generating of the ID card. So what we are going to use to generate the ID card is the reg number. So we just copy the reg number. Okay. So come down here and say generate ID card. Okay, so once you come there, it takes us to this page. We have the ID page. Then we have download and print ID card. So we have here, we have the field where we put the unique number, which is the reg number. Okay, so we just enter the paste that um, number there. Then click on generate. So immediately you do that. Here comes our ID card. So we have our ID card. So if you want to download, you download and print the card clicking on this button. All right, so that is just how this our 
um, ID card generator is. Okay, so you can go back to the dashboard. You can see what we have here. It's very very easy to uh, streamline. So you can search here. You can just search on the record. So we have Patrick it brings out just this. Okay, so you can take it off. It brings out this. All right. So this is what this project is all about. So if you want this, want to do something like this, or you want to source code, you can um, hit me up in my inbox, or you can just message me on my Gmail, and uh, I'm going to give you the source code to this. Thank you for watching, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification button so whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching once again and um, bye for now.